Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And hopefully this is the video where I actually will go ahead and do a little bit of Inferno. I do hope I can change this cheesecake around now yesterday or well in the previous video. We got very lucky and we got ourselves a Saradomin Godsword and an Armadil Crossbow. Meaning that we pretty much have everything we could ever ask for in order to, you know, attempt the Inferno. Now, yes, I could go for full Armadil and yes, I might go for full Armadil. But more or less, I have full Carol, I have ACB, I have the Necklace of Anguish. I'm making my bolts right now. We should be able to give it a fair shot. I just defeated the Kraken boss for 250 times while editing and I wasn't even aware that this was a task. Uh, before I go ahead, I'll just mine a bit of Amethyst so I can make Amethyst arrows so I can go ahead and use that on Zuck healers if I reach them. So it's gonna be a little bit of an upgrade from a rune arrow and it's also gonna be okay fletching XP I think. So I might get 99 fletching in the process. Here we go. I think I made way more than enough amethyst arrows for my Zuck attempts. And realistically I think I'll only be using these for healers. But there it is. 99 fletching. Very very nice. Another 99 on the list and uh, it's definitely coming together quite nicely. Oh and uh, this guy wanted to be in a video so... There you go. It is time. It is time to get rid of the cape. I'm ready. And uh, this is probably gonna be really hard. This is gonna be my first ever attempt at doing the Inferno full-on melee. I don't even have a shield, so I might look into maybe buying a Tok shield thingy if this, uh, ev like if this attempt doesn't go that well. But we'll see how it goes and we're just gonna send it. So I went through the waves with pretty much not too many issues. However, having a shield would definitely be a little bit helpful. Another thing I would take in consideration is not taking super combat potions at all. For my very first attempt, I took two super combat potions. Obviously, that is two places that I could use to have extra bruise. I ended up killing triple jets and having four bruise to spare. And if you know the ACB MSB Inferno, Four bruise is not that much to have. I also ended up tanking one uh, triple jet hit because I was reading the Twitch chat for some reason and just didn't switch my prayer. Uh, but anyways, I made it to Zuck comfortably on my very first attempt. And if you guys want to see an entire Zuck fight, I have that on my second channel. I'll be leaving it in the description if someone is interesting. Consider even subscribing to my second channel. I always post extras there. I also gotta thank my boy Solo Mission. He was chilling with me on Discord when I was doing this attempt. That was quite fun. And yeah, let's see how the Zuck went. I'm not going to be showing an entire Zuck fight because ACB Zuck is actually so slow, it could pretty much be the entire video. So if you're interested in the full attempt, once again, check the description. Uh, but basically, I made it very comfortably to the healers. I didn't have any problems with the jab, didn't have any problems with sets. However, the problem was we didn't have enough bruise, okay? That, that's a little bit of a problem. So as you can see, when we are on the healers... It's uh, it's looking rough. MSB doesn't really deal much damage and another thing that kind of hits us a little bit is the fact that the set spawns and I have no food left. I'm basically out. So I just need to basically try to learn on the fly how to tick Major and Ranger while running behind the shield, while dodging the Zuck attack. And that was overall a little bit overwhelming for my skill level in Inferno at the moment. However, this was an amazing experience for the first ever ACB Inferno attempt, and I enjoyed it very, very much. Yeah, I'm doing something, I don't know. Nah, I'm dead. It was good, though. I learned so much. No, no, I learned so much from this, though. Like, I genuinely learned a lot out of that run, so that was a pretty good attempt, I'd say. Honestly, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that, especially knowing, like, my main problem when I did this on the main game was that... I always hated the waves, how long it took. Here you chuck your mage play on, buy it, and you just send it. I love it. So this is going to be great to learn. Um, so I'm happy. Right, so this is what we are about to do every single day. Thanks to our Mauritania diaries, we can claim these buckets of slime and everything from Robin 39 times a day. They give me Ektoth stuff, and then I put this in the Bone Crusher, 1.6k charges. Then I can take this Bone Crusher to Skeletal Wyverns and just AFK there and gain my prayer XP that way. So the way it works is, I grab 13 bones, then we're gonna speak to Robin, claim the slime, he's gonna convert it, boom, look at that, and now we're gonna TP back here, and now we're gonna click this. And we're gonna do this basically three times every day, 
get charges for our bone crusher, put it in the bone crusher, and then just do whatever we want. And it's gonna be a really, really nice way of training our prayer up. Oh, the task is done. And if I click spacebar, there it is, 80 prayer. Wonderful. Um, this is gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna have lots of fun camping this for a while. Hey, our very first fresh dragon plate skirt. So I like the other ones that I got in the past, that I got like five of them. But I might start a little bit of a collection, depending on how long I spend my time here. And just put them in a the bank. Because I don't really need money. We'll see. If I need money, I might alk them again. It is what it is. Alright, I've been kind of chilling, relaxing, and I went from 88 to 90 agility using my summer pies that I got from Sarah Doman, and now I don't even need boosts anymore if I want to keep going. At some point, I will need to get myself, I think, 260 marks of grace. Alongside that, I'll also need to complete, I believe, 250 laps in total, which I'm probably around 150 away right now, but eventually I do want to max. I had nothing important to do, so I just decided to do some laps, and slowly but surely, we will finish this 99 as well. It is about 1 mil an hour. I went kind of AFK in the middle of it, but approximately 1 million XP an hour from just jumping agility rooftop course. The next thing on the list of things I want to do is I want to actually get my construction higher because being 71 construction is a little bit of a joke and obviously as you guys know I do not actually unfortunately have a last recall relic. So when it comes to making planks I have to do it the good old fashioned way. Teleporting to house, speaking to this man, ask him to take it to the sawmill, take all of them. Boom, he takes some cash off of you, and just like that he goes. And then I teleport to Castle Wars. And the thing is, your butler is actually going to deliver this straight to the bank, simply because you're not here to pick those planks up. So you can keep doing this as fast as you possibly can, get a bunch of tick or any other planks, and then just finish off 99 construction extremely fast. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. I do not think I have enough logs for 99. But we're gonna do it until we run out of them. Alright, I made my planks. I never really calculate where this is gonna get me. Let's hope it gets me to upwards of 90 construction. But once again, I have no clue. I'm just swinging it over here. I'm gonna start with mahogany, move on to ticks, see where it gets us. And here is base 80 stats. Very nice, we're up to 80 construction, meaning that we can make our achievement gallery, which is extra points when I wanna feel like I wanna spend some cash, which will be about now. Alright, I didn't actually fact check this, but I am pretty sure that this is a task. If I just find an achievement gallery, build it, 200,000, um, let's just rotate it a little bit and build. And there it is, that's another 100 pointer, very, very free. I'm gonna continue on with construction, it's going extremely fast. And there is 2,200 total, the points are just coming in without me even knowing at this point. And it's awesome, and I'm probably gonna, well, I'm already 84 construction, so I have no idea when it's gonna end. But look at these stats, we're actually so close to maxing. Alright, it appears that we are out of planks and we got all the way to 94 construction, which is honestly higher than anticipated. I just decided to do more fossil island wyverns, got some fossils, put the fossils on the display, used the lamp and it got me 80,000 XP. And I didn't know, so that's gonna be the level. There it is, 88 room crafting, and now I can actually do... Falador Elite Diaries, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that very quickly. Is this one also giving me 80k? So see, this one gives me 32k, but because I put these large ones here, those gave me 80k. And you see I have this on 146. The plan is to get this all the way up to... Let's see, how many do we need? 153, so I'm almost there, and then I finish these Elite Diaries as well. But now look at that. Falador, boom. I can go ahead and create this right now with 88 rune crafting, and that's gonna be another elite diary, another 800,000 XP in rune crafting. And here we go. This will be the task completed. Elite diaries done, 250 points done. We teleport to Falador, and now when I go ahead and wanna do mole, I will actually see where it is located. So it is going to be perfect for some extra tasks when I do decide to do them. I don't think I'll do that anytime soon though, but that can also be the way I get to 25 million herb XP because you can get a bunch of, I think, seeds and stuff from mole, basically. Uh, but yeah, if we speak to our boy, Sir Rebral over here, he's gonna give us the Fally Shield 4. That can also be used in Inferno, by the way. So I might take advantage of that for Inferno as well. We're gonna go ahead and rub this antique lamp, put it on the rune crafting. Boom, look at that. 
89 room crafting almost 90 there it is beautiful another diary fully completed and uh, yeah we can get basically Lumbridge fully completed Varok fully completed in just a moment here uh, Western provinces I cannot complete and Karamja I'll be able to complete when I'm 91 room crafting so very very soon I'll have all elite diaries done here is how my loot tab has been looking recently. I've been killing Spirin Wyverns, Talon Wyverns, Skeletal Wyverns, a lot of money, a lot of prayer XP just passively being gained as well. I swear I started at like prayer level around 70-ish and now we are at 83, all coming in from the Bone Crusher as well. Doing my daily bones to keep my Bone Crusher charged up and there is 83 prayer. And I do believe this is one of those rare drops that you get from these wyverns. I already have the granite boots, now we got the granite longsword. None of which is a task, that's a bit of a shame. Because look at the... Look at the state of this sword, it looks like an... It looks like a good sword, I'm not gonna lie, but... It's completely useless, unfortunately, but we got it, so that's something. Here we go, we just finished 100 Slayer tasks for 100 points, and I think there is another task point where you finish 200. Alright, with completing 100 tasks, we got a bunch of points. With these points, we can buy some rewards. Now, I have two options that I'm thinking between, either a Rune Pouch or a herb sack and I will be going for herb sack I think I will find more uses for that when I'm camping wyverns when I'm ca camping fossil wyverns whatever it is I can put herbs in this sack and uh, it's gonna be very very nice for our future herb lord training I need to keep taking tasks of these though and this is going to be in my inventory quite a lot now so very happy still got a bunch of points left and I'll get the rune pouch eventually in the future I am legit missing one kudos to be done with this and it's taken me quite a lot of time actually but let's chuck this all into room crafting 56k that was a medium one 32k more room crafting experience thank you very much we are up to 90 room crafting already that is looking beautiful if I just train I guess prayer I'll be base 90s wow okay so prayer is actually gonna be fairly hard to train but it's gonna be AFK and kinda relaxing, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, here we go. This took me longer than I expected, but I'm very happy it is about to be done. We are about to have 153 kudos, and now we just need to speak to the man. But first, room crafting XP, thank you very much, 56k, wonderful. And now we just speak to Orlando Smith, and that will be it. Would you look at that? Hard tasks also completed, that's 100 points. But most importantly, we can now claim both hard and elite rewards, and that is going to be some crazy experience in runecrafting. Very happy with that, let's uh, quickly claim it. Talking to Toby over here in Varok Square, he's first gonna give us the Varok Armor 3, and now he's gonna give us the Varok Armor 4. We're gonna claim another one of those, and now let's first use this in runecrafting. That gave us 240k XP and then I will use this on rune crafting and that gives us 800,000 XP. We can now do double nature runes which means we can also complete Karamja elite diary. So you see what we're doing here? We're just doing elites, we're getting experience. Let's, let's get 800,000 more rune crafting XP. Okay, and this should be another 250 points. I don't think I ever received this many points that easily. There it is. Elite, more, uh, Elite Karamja Diaries completed this time around. It is time to speak to Pirate Jackie the Fruit, ask him about the Achievement Diary, and there it is, Karamja Gloves 4, I can now teleport straight to Duradel. Uh, we're gonna ask for another set of gloves, very nice. And we can now rub this antique lamp, put it into room crafting. yes, you guessed it. And we are up to 93 room crafting already, never touched the skill, all of this is just lamps, so, and I can get even more, when I'm able to complete, let's see here, uh, when I'm able to complete Kandarin, that's 800k more XP, and when I can finally do Tears of Gothics again, that's 1.2 million more XP there, and then I'll be like 4 million XP off, that's gonna be a bit rough because of my Relic choice, but I'm happy I could boost it that far up by just doing diaries. So I spent majority of my day just chopping down teak logs and making teak benches and here's level 98 construction. I do think this time around I have enough to finish off 99. Now I went from 25 mil to 34 mil woodcutting just chopping down teaks. That's what I needed to finish off my 99 construction and I'll just keep this going till we reach 99. Should be about 15 minutes maybe. This here is not uh, actual XP an hour. I've just been slacking kind of hard. 
Um, but yeah, just gonna make more benches, finish off this 99 and then move on to another 99. Here it is, we waited the whole day to finish this one off and one more and there it is. 99 construction, 250 pointer. Um, very useful skill cape because I will be making myself a fairy ring inside my house Meaning that I'll have a very close teleport to a fairy ring now And yeah, this is gonna be extremely helpful I could also do an achievement gallery if I really wanted to I'll probably redecorate my house a little bit, but Look at this, the snake is continuing, boom, 99s, 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 99s This one is almost 99, I might finish this next, honestly, 300k Few Kraken tasks, boom, we're done, right? I think that's a solid one to go for next. And then thieving is a very simple one. Alrighty then, estate agent, give me my cape. Thank you very much, I'll give you 99k, no problem. That sounds pretty fair to me. Drop this, because we don't need it. And this is gonna be extremely, extremely useful. Now I need to get myself fairy enchantment of a fairy ring, which let's do it here, I guess. And then I can make some mushrooms in my house. Now sometime in the future I will be making myself a spirit tree and fairy ring, however unfortunately, right, I cannot get any spirit seeds, they're so rare, so hard to get and I need to get two of them for a really hard task to do, however for now let's just make a fairy ring, this is gonna be, I need a watering can, of course I need a watering can. Alright, attempt number two, surely this is going to work, there it is, wonderful, perfect, so now we have that. Uh, but what do we need for this? Uh, wait, do I even want this? So, there are things that I could do. I could create, I think, all the way up to level 80 rejuvenation pool. And then if I put a dummy over here, I can SGS spec to get my HP back and then re-pull right after that. So I might actually make all of these up until this one. Should be very simple. Alright, so that is what we have in our house for now, and I'm sure down the line I'll figure out of something that is missing, but for now, we have an emergency teleport, you know, if we don't have any teleports on us, we just bring construction cape, boom, we go right back at it. And now, this is the thing I was talking about earlier, I don't know if I'm, I included that clip here, but anyways, especially if you have the spec relic, what you can do, if you have a pool of rejuvenation, or just a spec pool, and a combat dummy right next to it, what you can do, is you can activate your dummy, right? And then, well, all you gotta do is you literally attack your dummy with SGS. If you have five specs, even better. Boom, you basically heal back up to full. And it's literally the same thing as having the top tier spec. If you're not full, you come right back. Look, boom, spec, spec. Even with a double spec, you can heal yourself perfectly like that. So, that is basically unlimited food, unlimited prayer right next to a permanent teleport. I'm sure we're gonna find a lot of uses to that. If we had a teleport back relic... It would be so much easier. We don't. We have to play it the hard way. But still, I, you know, if I'm 99 construction, I might as well have this feature in my house. All right, and here it is. Yet another 99 on the account. I'm honestly quite proud of today because I did so much skilling. And skilling is not necessarily always very interesting, right? But there it is. 250 points on top. 99 magic, look at the stats, like we are so close to maxing pretty much, if I like focus on it, I could be maxed very very soon, I'm not gonna like really focus on it, but I do wanna max in like quite quickly as well, now I could spend way more time PVMing or whatever, but I kinda wanted to just take, you know, some days I like to just chill and relax and skill and... The stats are coming along perfectly. I'm a bit worried about the rune crafting still, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do now. I think I wanna get at least one more 99. Okay, so, look at that. We are almost done. Majority of this was actually just done on the phone, spam clicking this goddamn Knight of Ardune for... What, like two hours? A little bit over two hours? Uh, but yeah, if you're clicking this like an absolute maniac, you can actually get four mil. XP an hour, just, just just clicking this guy, however, your finger is gonna hate you, your hand is gonna hate you, and you will regret your life, uh, but we are almost done, we started at 91, we're almost 99, I'm gonna hop over to my skill tabs, I'm very proud of the progress, yes, there hasn't been much of PVMing in this video, but the amount of skilling I've done, the amount of diaries, the amount of progress I've accomplished, I'm very proud of, and I also have a way of training my runecrafting. I figured it all out. Tomorrow, 
from when I'm actually recording this clip, we get an update on the whole clue situation where juggling is gonna become much easier. So for example, if you cannot complete your clue scroll at the step five, you can drop it. The next clue scroll you get, you'll be able to complete. What that means is I will be able to most likely get a master scroll book through completing a bunch of clues. And that is gonna help us to do a lot of things with the teleports, but first, here is level 99 thieving. One of the last things I wanted to accomplish in this video. The stats are looking beautiful. But now to touch back onto the whole um, master scroll book situation. If I can get lumber teleports, put them in my master scroll book, I basically have infinite teleports right to the earth altar. And because I do not have the last recall relic, I have eternal jeweler. That will be my best way, I think, to train uh, runecrafting. So, at the time you're seeing this video, I think the update is already out. And I'll be grinding my ass off to try and complete as many clues as possible. So in the future video, expect me to be opening some clues. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. And we're obviously gonna work towards maxing, working towards more PVM stuff. And obviously, Inferno. We still gotta get that. I didn't accomplish that in this video. But the most important thing is, I had a lot of fun, that's what matters. If you're new on this channel, please subscribe, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. And if you made it this far in the video, you can also give the video a like to help more people see our content. Thank you very much for the support, and I wish you all to stay safe and have a beautiful day. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.